<laughs> you know, baby dolls, was E-Hex capitulation? <clears throat> it has to be, right? Hex from Ethereum, man, it dropped like 85%. And this is where it is now from Richard's tweets, right, from the start of here. Man, we dropped 85%. Like, come on, bro, what loses 85% in a few days? Come on, man. 85% fence. Crypto JPEGs don't even lose that much. And they're JPEGs. You're telling me being on Ethereum network because you can't stake long term. Okay, you're down 85% and you're already cheap before. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. By the way, you know, don't touch it. Not financial advice. I don't know. I, I'm feeling more confident in this now because we're like, we're sitting through things not at zero. Look, if you hear this, at least I called it. All right, but I don't know, man. Couldn't get a zero. Just saying like, look, this is EHEX, PHEX. We were, we were on this floor before and we were here, man. Like, could we go back here? Could we get like to a ratio of 0.4? Like, why would it be illegal? Like, yes, I know some people say it's racist if the E hex to P hex value goes back to 0 0.4. I oh, know, yeah, for, okay, fair enough. Maybe, maybe, might be racist and bigoted and transphobic and everything else. It might be. But what if it's not? What if people just like putting glitter on their face on a Saturday night sometimes? So, where am I getting at here? Well, look, man, I just, I just, just let's think rationally. Richard didn't tweet anything differently. We knew this information. The E-Hex is expensive. The S-load stuff sucks. Of course it does. But how much does it suck? Does it suck so much that E-Hex has to lose 85% of value? I don't think so. Now, it's not Richard's fault. Not my fault. Not really your fault either. You're probably still holding. It's the paper hands. It's basically like, okay, the market had to rinse it. It is what it is. It's kind of like, friends, you have a bin in your kitchen. You know, like, oh, wh whose fault is it? No, well, everyone put rubbish in the bin, and why is it so smelly? Someone just has to take out the trash. That's it. The bin got too full. We just got to take out the trash, and it is what it is. So, yeah, the trash hands did what it did. Now, look, man, I, I don't know about this, but uh, look, I'm just telling you now, friends, just, I want you to think about this, though. Uh, what I'm about to tell you is going to be very controversial because... Look how low EHEX, PHEX went when the corrupt SEC was here, all right? We went to 0 0.4, pretty much. You see this level, 0 0.4. The market, you and me, and Toby, and Mr. Dipcatcher, and Mr. B-Roots, and everyone. When the corrupt SEC came full force against Ricardo Corazon, none of us thought Richard would flop his willy out and say, you know what? I'm going to buy the tokens with the funds anyway. No one thought that. Shocked us. So I can pretty much almost feel that the market was like already pricing in no one's buying the token, right? So what I'm basically saying is down at this point, Let's go through some facts. Okay, let's do some facts. Facts number one. Okay, Ethereum staking expensive. The market knew. All right, that's market knew. As well, uh, as well. So this is on the corrupt SEC attack. Ethereum staking expensive. You knew that. Number two. Richard likes, Richard likes PHEX more. <laughs> Duh. All right. We already know that, friends. You see there's a piece of information. And also, number three. Richard wasn't. Buying e hex with funds. All right. That's something to think about. What I'm basically saying is if we go back to the capitulation moment when Bank X and so, oh, by the way, we knew about Bank X too. Let's add Bank X as well. So we knew this information back then, man. Bank X. We knew they had big poopies, but they didn't even have a wall yet. By the way, that's even like better. I want, I want to show you something, all right? The E hex P hex ratio was down here. And look what happens. When Bank X had the wall, we were settling up here. You see that difference? Look at this. E hex from the low was up 65% against P hex and settling here. Then Richard's tweet came. So because Bank X have the wall, I've got to repeat everybody in the community leaving a wall up is bullish. 
because you're telling the market, I'm not here to play around. I want to just, just pay me. We're not here to hurt you. I'm doing you a favor. I'm revealing my whole hand. Okay, you can buy cleanly and I'm not going to sell on you. Just chew up into the wall, do the great chew, and we're done. So it's actually confidence building. So let's bring back these pieces of information. So on that corrupt SEC attack, friends, and also to play some nice pump music, right? Oh, man, we need a pump. Everyone's fighting, man. We need a pump. Anyway, it's going to be a while, friends. It's going to be a while. But not a while. Maybe a month. Who knows? Look, Ethereum staking is expensive. We knew that. Like, we knew that from the start. We knew that from day one. We knew how expensive it is. Okay. Number two, right? Richard likes PHEX more. He tweeted at that bottom, yes, the market has chosen EHEX and PHEX. He, he said that down here. And guess what, friends? Even when he said that, we still went up. Think about this. He still said to everybody, the market has chosen PHEX. By the way, it is what it is. And the market, it's still, the ratio still went Closer to parity. Let's not even use parity as an example, but it's towards it, right? And then you also had Richard wasn't buying EHEX. So he wasn't buying EHEX last year, but this is where the market is like, well, this is where you got to use the ratio of EHEX to Pulse now. Because what you might say is, you might say this ratio is meant to go down. Why? Because Richard declared he's going to buy PHEX only. And this goes up. Okay, okay, genius. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. If you go to EHEX and Pulse, all right, this is EHEX versus Pulse. Why should you also capitulate 85%? Because he's bought Pulse. Okay, maybe he's like, well, is that what it's worth? Like, hmm. I, I don't know, friend. That's why I'm just trying to work this out. Is the market, look, it's crazy. It ha there has to be a capitulation, man. I don't care what you say. You drop 85% in... Uh, one, two, three, four, four days, 85%. Bro, what loses 85% in four days? Anyway, look, now you have to decide here, right? You got to decide with me. Uh, you think, all right, well, all right, there's a big fat red candle. We can see it. Big fat red candle down and down. How much value should we give the ability to just own a coin versus its inability to stake it? Right, because right now, you know, the market's pretty much saying it's saying, well, you can't stake it long term, therefore you're worth zero. That's what everybody who was selling the bottoms is saying. Like, I can't stake it long term worth zero. I'm like, wait a minute, I could buy JPEGs, man. No staking, nothing. They're still worth something. So that's not true, right? But that's us thinking with a rational mind. You also have people maybe forced out because they're bleeding stakes. That's also another thing. So you have that factor, but then you've also got to think, all right, how much is EHEX worth? The value of it worth? considering that Richard is a big buyer now, because then this is the hard thing to think about. How much of the coin's value is just Richard? That's what you're trying to forecast in the future. How much of it is literally just his wallet? Because if he's a lot of it, then this ratio makes sense, doesn't it? You've sold down here and you go, well, you, you got to stay down because... <sighs> This is the thing, friends. PHEX maxis, they don't know what they're actually doing by being bearish on EHEX down here. They don't know what they're logically saying, okay? And I'm not a logical person, friends. I've just got a peanut brain and my cute little Pikachu hat. If you're bearish on EHEX here, what you're actually saying is Richard is the entire market because the only thing different the market saw was that, remember, 2023, Richard wasn't buying anything. And then in 2024, he bought Pulse, Pulsex, Inc., PHEX. He did not buy Erection Hex. Erection Hex! Erection Hex! He did not buy it. So now you've got to think, oh, wait, if he is buying the four horseman coins, how much is that worth? And how much does Erection Hex get left behind now? If PHEX maxis, which I know you are, you're all bearish on EHEX, what you're actually saying without knowing, but implicitly what you're saying, friends, is you know how 2 plus 2, okay, it's 4? Yeah, well, you can also write, you know, 4 minus 2 is 2. Yeah, it's the same equation. What you're actually saying is you go, well, I'm bearish on P EHEX. So you're actually saying Richard's the whole market. You're saying there's no demand for these pretty much. We actually, in another way, you're saying, well, like, 
90% of the demand is Richard. Now, I'm not even going to say you're wrong or right. I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I'm telling you that you're saying. If you're bearish on EHEX, you're saying, well, I trust Richard Hart. That's a, the friends, if you hear that, that's synonymous with, uh, I can see the 170,000 ETH and I'm going to assume he's going to sell at 8,000 or 12,000 or $15,000 one day and rotate in. Remember, you're the market. You are all the market. Everybody's collective wisdom. So I'm not here to say right or wrong, but it, yeah, I don't know if people really know what they're actually doing by being bearish on EHEX down here. You never thought about that, right? That's something to open your eyes. Because I went through, honestly, every step of the way. I go, what information did we all have in 2023? And then what changed? Well, guess what? The only thing that changed, friends, was the fact that we saw Richard use his wallet, the sacrifice funds wallet, to buy everything but erection hex. That's the only thing that changed. So therefore, if you're telling me, all right, e-hex is worth zero then, you're like, wait a minute. So you're saying the fact that Richard buys something, it's worth everything. But here's where I want to tell you something as well. Because, look, friends, this was the chart pattern of p-hex. He started buying p-hex only. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Sure, he didn't use all the money in the world, but you didn't know that. You see, you and me did not know that he was going to stop buying here. You thought he's going to keep buying P-Hex and send it up to the moon. Look, he buys and he stops. He buys, he stops. <clears throat> the market said, you know what? Our fair value is actually lower. Friends, central banks have had moments in history where they've lost against the market. Central banks, that's right. Literally, the guys with the money printer. How do you die with infinite money glitch? How do you run out of money? You can't be bigger than the market, all right? Really, really important concept to think about. What I've done is I've basically sat through these red candles with you, and I'm just trying to give you a rational perspective to say, all right, well, hmm, okay, maybe parity, all right, maybe that's off the cards, but is there another opportunity here for us? It might be, friends. So what I'm going to do is just show you again, this is EHEX, PHEX. Just be ready for anything, man. If EHEX, if if they want to sell this even down lower, sweet, just buy more. You never know, man. This thing could go up, at least recover one day. But look, what I'm basically telling you is if you settle that 0 0.45 and here, right, look what you settled before. Okay, but now here's the thing. But Richard's not buying your coin now. So that's why, once again, I've got to repeat, I'm, I'm not saying this definitely goes up or how much distance it goes up. I don't know. But I'm, I'm like, I am letting you know that, all right, well, you've got to, it's impossible to calculate. You think, all right, how important is Richard's buying? How important is it? What about the T-shares? I thought they were worth something. They're on Ethereum. Because I'm, I'm just telling you now, friends, like, Trust me, I know, yeah, okay, Richard's worth a lot. Yes, and he's worth a lot. But on the other hand, man, we know Metcalf's law. We know everybody in crypto, when they type in hex, it defaults to the other stuff, even though Richard's, everyone's trying to hide it and delete it and stuff. So I know it doesn't go to zero, but yeah, that's why, look, if you buy cheap prices, you have the luxury of exiting for a profit and you don't have to see the whole trade back to fruition. That's why, friends, I do feel for people who are in from here because now you need this to happen. You need it to go back up. You really need like this to eventually come back, the whole the ratio to come back. But if you're in from like you're buying here, okay, yeah, 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 you just keep DCA buying, right? What if like by the end of the year it just comes back here? Yeah, you can just like, get out. You see that? You make more pulse, by the way. That's huge. From like 0 0.15 to 0 0.43, you make like 2 or 3x on your pulse. All right, now, I don't, I don't have the full answer, friends. I've never had the full answer. I just, I know one thing about markets. Like, well, you know, everybody's running one way. That means there's opportunity there. You know, you go check their ha houses. All right, they've left pieces of bread, fluffy slippers. Someone didn't drink their orange juice on the kitchen table because everybody's just left. They're basically just like, well, I'm leaving no matter what. Well, that's what I see, see right now. In a nutshell, what I'm saying is cheap prices are cheap. I just don't know what expensive is. And it, it's you don't need to know. You don't need to know. It's just like, what would expensive be? I don't know, friends. What would expensive be? Look, you never know, man. Maybe the end, end of the cycle. I'm telling you right now, I'm not, I'm not kidding. What if Martini guy, 
And what if he grows to like 500,000 followers? What if Rectum or somebody else has a big EHEX stake coming out and they start a narrative to just get EHEX up? You never know, man. They might do that. So, and, and that might start a narrative and just bring it all the way back up. Then you have to think, wait a minute. Are you here because the market wants to be here or are you here because it's the top of the bull market? It's a very, very strong part. So I'm just drawing, showing you the uncertainty of the future of expensive. But you, you don't need to know that. Just like I told you, buying the depression of Bitcoin. All right, yeah, Bitcoin at 20K, you don't know where it's going to go. It could stop at 80 for the whole cycle. We could be done for the year. We could stop at 60. We could stop 150. But that stuff, it's outside of your control. But you did know, all right, there's anger and depression. There is cheap prices going on in 2022. They were cheap. Right, you just you, you don't know where expensive is going to be. Just a guessing game, but you just know cheap is cheap. That's why I always tell you, man, just give me cheap prices. Just give it to me cheap. I'll figure out the expensive later on. I know if I just keep buying cheap, I'm going to be all right. And you know you're going to be all right. I don't care what it is. Okay, I see a community and stuff here and there. Whatever, I'll just keep buying cheap. I don't want twenty percent off the top. This is giant, but you got eighty five percent down. Oh. Who's got bags left to sell on this and why? Why would you possibly want to sell? There's only liquidity left anyway for you. So one day you'll thank me, friends. One day you'll thank me because what I'm doing for you is I'm giving you the gift of confidence in a time when everyone's running away. And this is like priceless because if you want the standard narrative, it's it's all bad. It's all bad. You're not the favorite child anymore. Everyone can say that, of course. And in euphoria... What's everyone going to be saying in every coin? We're just getting started. You earned it. You deserve a hundred more X's. Yes, it's very powerful, isn't it? I've got a Pikachu hat. None of this is financial advice. Like, subscribe, belly button, or catch you soon.